This video is brought to you in association with Kitchich Toys, the UK's home for retro and vintage toys. All right, Rick Waller came back again in a slightly sunnier spot than I'd like to be, but needs must at the minute. And you might remember a few weeks ago, I looked at uh, Cat's Lair from the Thundercats Miniatures line from back in the 80s. I enjoyed that so much that I thought, hey, why not bring that concept back? Slide that out of the way and that there. With the Tower of Omens from the newer series. Uh, this is another item that will be in uh, Kitchich Toys. And I've got to say, I do really like it. As you can see, the box slightly beaten up, but still looking good. Move it close to the camera so you can see the image on the front. Maybe a little too much of a glare there, unfortunately, but... I'll be taking photos of it later so that it'll show up better. Shows you the other figures available. Other play with toys available. Some of the play features. Other toys. The usual guff. What you'd expect from a box, really. But we're not here to look at the box, are we? We're here to pop this bad boy out the box, put it together, and have a bit of a play. So, while I do that, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so here we are. Here it is, out of the packaging. Got to say, it does look good. Now, I want to point out, you do also get a catapult. A vehicle that looks exactly like the old uh, cat's lair. An invisible tiger and a couple of weapons. In the pack as well, but I'm not opening them at the minute. This was bought second hand, but still in its polythene bags. These bags were open, those ones aren't. I'm not opening them yet. Don't want to ruin the value that much for the uh, people who buy it from me. But we've got this to look at. And uh, as the figure that comes with it is still hidden away in there, I brought a few other Thundercats to have a look at it with. I've already looked at these, I think. So Mumra, Lino, Panthro, and the two kids. They should be enough to see what it's all about. I'll pop these in front of there, even though you can't actually see that on camera at the minute. And there was the post, but I'm sure we can edit that out or put a laugh on it and keep it in. So, first of all, let's talk about this piece, the front piece. We'll move it around so you can see it a bit more. I know I only just put them there, but I want to show this off properly. What we've got, doorway, cat's head, and these side pieces. They look good. They look good. You pick them up, and they will flap loose, fall off in no time, as you can see. Not the most robust playset, I've got to admit that. But, shift you to the side, we'll come back to you. Pull you back here so we can see you better. But yeah, it does look really good and does make a great display piece. Essentially, that's all it does though, is make a good display piece. I mean, I'm thinking of making some Rempy games for Thundercats and releasing them on the site. You know, just a free little extra to help make the site look cool and to give it more stuff to do. And it's going to probably be photographed for that. It'll probably look good for that. But yeah, other than being a backdrop, there's pretty much no play features. It does have one though. One and only one. The door's open when you put a figure up there. Using their magnet systems, the Thunder Links, as I think they're called, on the back of the packaging. 
Yeah, the doors open. You can hang line up there from the magnet. It's a strong magnet. It's good for that. I've got to stay. I'm not complaining about the strength of the magnet. But yeah, all that front piece does, the doors open. Pop them shut again. Pop it down here. And there went one of the things again. Big shock. Move them out of the way. Come back in a second, have a look at the uh, tower itself. Okay, so the vehicles look fun, but we're not playing with them today. And the uh, door is a great display piece, but not much more than that. But what about the main body of the thing? What about the main tower itself? I, mean, I haven't slipped any batteries in this, so this top part is not going to light up. But, one light up feature isn't enough anyway. You've got to make sure there's enough play value in the whole thing. So let's take a look at that, shall we? First, take a look at the design. It's very brown. I look at it and I think brown. But yeah. Other than brown, what do we have on the front of this thing? Honest answer, not a lot. Cool line, cool cat heads, cool blue design in here, cool Thundercat symbol at the top. And some interesting sculpt work. I do have to say there is some interesting sculpt work, but that's about it. One thing it does have is you can take your figures and you can stand them on these legs. There's actual pins to put them on, so hey, it works as a display piece for that. Though, of course, if you're displaying them one behind the other, not the easiest thing to necessarily see. But you can work around that. I mean, pop the liner down like that. Bend his leg that way, so he's stood on that part of it. Maybe bend the leg there, so he's on the cat's head. And then they're obvious. You can see them behind each other. So you've got room for four figures on that, so you can display your whole team. So that's a good thing. It works as a display piece. Seem to be saying that a lot about this playset. Seems a lot less play and a lot more display. Oh, that's catchy. I might have to work that in as a catchphrase at some point. But it does still have some play features. This front part slots off and we get to see inside. And it's got a lift. And that's all it's got. It goes up and pops them open. And it goes down. So we had a preview of that feature. I thought you were supposed to have a figure on it to do that, but no, it seems you don't even have to have a figure on it to make them pop open, which is good. Does it slide easily? Not that easily. It keeps getting stuck sort of there. But it will just easily pass through there and pop those open. We'll also pop up to the top and lock in place there. And so we've got ourselves a little platform up here. Whoa, that looks good. Let's put a figure on there and display him. Display two of them, in fact. Just about. Wow, what a displaying platform they've got here. Will our kids fit on there? You can balance their space boards across them. So it even looks like the space boards are hovering slightly. Or you can with cats. Kits is a little harder to get balanced. There we go, got that there. So yeah, that works. There's that. And there's the lights and sounds that I'm not putting on today. But yeah, it's again, it's a display base. A display piece. Wow. I can't believe how good this display piece is. What a play set. Okay, 
Okay, I'm being unfair to it. We don't get play sets often these days. And they're not in the same league as they were back in my day. Oh, that makes me feel old saying that sort of thing. But you, there is a lot of fun you can have around this. You can put your figures around this and enjoy it and use it as something to play around. It isn't just for display, really. Works great as display. And frankly, for an adult collector like myself, I really like it as a display piece. And yeah, I, I think there should be more things like display pieces to work with toy lines like this. Should perhaps be a touch cheaper, especially when they're made of this cheap plastic, cheap hollow plastic. And there's no uh, footholds to put it on up here. But yeah, I mean, with these domes closed, it looks cool. With them open, with them open, you can display figures on it. Even when they're closed, you've got space to display them on the playset itself and around the base and with the door. So yeah, it does have a lot of value to it. You just have to look for that value and really not mind the color brown because it is so brown. I mean, I think if it were me, I'd have come with the sort of white that you get in the original series for the tower. But overall, if you want something to display your Thundercats figures, you can do a lot worse than this. If you want something with a load of action features, a load of gimmicks, and a load of um, levels, this might not be the one for you. Has play value, has display value. But, I don't know, I'm not sure I could justify the price. And I really shouldn't be saying that as I'm selling it. But I'm um, just being honest with you. I'm sure you can appreciate that. So that's the Tower of Omens. An interesting display piece. And that's about it. So until next time, see you then.